And, and so looking at this and looking at this clash of operating systems, I've come to the conclusion, and some of you may have heard me say this before, that uh, culture is not your friend. That's the final conclusion. You see, well, this came to me a few months ago when I had my yearly physical. And as I was buttoning up, my doctor said to me, he said, you know, uh, in the 19th century, uh, most people your age were dead. <laughs> and, uh, and I realized that, uh, that this was true and that one of the, among all the revolutions that we are enduring, one of them is that we live nearly twice as long as people lived uh, very recently in the past. Well, culture is a kind of neoteny, and I don't want to belabor that at great length, but for those of you who are not biologists, neoteny is the retention of juvenile characteristics into adulthood. It's used to describe animal behavior. For instance, I'll give the most spectacular example of neoteny. There is a kind of animal which lives in ponds in Africa and it reproduces like a fish. It lays eggs on the bottom of these ponds. More fish-like animals come from these eggs and so forth. However, if the pond dries up, the creature undergoes metamorphosis and becomes an animal somewhat like a gecko and lays eggs. And from these eggs come creatures that are like geckos. In other words, this is an animal which actually achieves sexual maturity in two forms, depending on environmental stress spectacular example of neoteny. Turning to human beings, a less spectacular example, but relevant to us, is our hairless, our general body hairlessness compared to other primates. We look like fetal apes. Uh, human beings look like fetal apes. Uh, why? What is neoteny? Well, this is hotly debated among evolutionary biologists. But the point I want to make is a socio-political comment, which is culture itself is some kind of neotenizing force. Because what it, culture provides is a bunch of rules, so you don't have to think, and a bunch of myths, so you don't have to think again. Culture has all the answers, you know. You want to know where people came from? Well, when the sky god got out of his canoe at first waterfall and took a leak, then we, the true people, appeared like ants, and we've been living here any, ever since. Oh, huh. gee, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> I'm glad I asked. Uh, you know, this is what culture does for you. So. But now technology throws a curve. And the curve is that we live so long that we figure out what a scam this is. We figure out that what you're supposed to work for isn't worth having. We figure out that our politicians are buffoons. We figure out that professional scientists are reputation-building, grab-tailing weasels. We discover that all organizations are corrupted by ambition. Uh, you know, you get the picture. We figure it out. Well, then, as intellectuals, and anybody who figures it out is an intellectual, believe me, because they're slinging the programming to push you the other way. So, uh, so then intellectuals, defined as people who figure it out, uh, discover that you are alienated. That's what figuring it out means. It means you understand that the BMW, the Harvard degree, the, whatever it is, that this is all baloney and manipulated and hyped and that 
mostly you have a bunch of clueless people who are figuring out which fork they should use. Uh, but this position is presented as alienation and therefore somehow tinged with the po potential for pathology. You know, it's a bad thing to be alienated. Now let's speak for a moment in order to fulfill the promise read by in the introduction uh, about psychedelics and what are they doing in this fine situation. Well, what they're doing is, is forcing this maturation process by dissolving boundaries, which is what they do. They are exposing the cultural operating system for what it is, which is just a bunch of hacked together rules that evolved over time. They weren't sent from God, from Mount Sinai. Uh, it's just a bunch of hacked together rules. So the psychedelics in that sense spread alienation. But what they alienate us from is preposterous, earth merging, sexist, consumerist, shallow, trivial, inane, insane, and dangerous. And that's what they alienate us.